Next on Newsmakers, he just received a major award for his work, and now he gets ready to lead his 30th season with the Seattle Opera. Hi, I'm Sabrina Register, coming to you from Friends of Youth, the Griffin House location in Renton. And joining me right now is Spake Jenkins, who is the general director, Seattle Opera. Thanks Hi. so much for coming on the program. It's Thank such a you. pleasure to meet you. As I said, 30th season you're getting ready for. Yeah, it's hard to believe. <laughs> three decades. Reflect on that for a moment. Well, it's been a wonderful time here. Seattle, I, I loved Seattle when I first came out here for interviews, and I've had a wonderful time here. People have been great to me, and we built, I think, a very strong company. It was a good company when I came, and I think we've done many things to it to make it more internationally known, partly because of, you know, an opera company needs a niche and if it can have one. And because the ring, had because Wagner's ring had started here, what I did also was not only to present two different rings, which are the four operas of, that Wagner composed that are so, so important, but I've, I presented all the Wagner operas of the standard repertory, of, of the standard, of the ten standard works. And it's caused us, the opera, Seattle Opera, really to have this kind of niche known not only in the United States but all over the world as being a house that emphasizes Wagner. And this helps. You know, this is a, you, know, you want something to make you a little bit different. And, and, and we believe in that. We have a great audience in the Northwest for it and a great audience generally for opera here. Well, you have certainly made your mark here in Seattle. Uh, you recently uh, were awarded NEA Opera Honors Award, which is kind of like the Kennedy Honors for people yeah. who follow that. So what was it like to receive that after three It was decades? wonderful. It was really a, a wonderful, th the, the NEA did a marvelous job in Washington and one of the exciting things about it was the lunch at the Supreme Court beforehand because the Supreme Court has quite a few justices, at least six of them came there who really like opera and are interested in it and it was, to me, it was very exciting because I happened also to be a lawyer and so to get a chance to talk to the Supreme Court justices was, was really thrilling. It was largely the, the brainchild of, of Miss Justice Ginsburg, who, who loves it, but, but uh, Mr. Justice Scalia is also a great opera fan. So it was, it was, that was really fun. The ceremony itself was quite wonderful and, and quite exciting. They had a big movie and they had, I mean, a big film of, of you know, what we were, of, of Rec my recognizing. career recognizing. Sure. And, and then we had uh, a good friend of mine, Stephen Wadsworth, uh, gave a tribute, who is a, he's an important director, gave a tribute, and then I spoke, and it was, everybody, we had four people who got the honors. It was wonderful. It was a great mm. time in Washington. It really was. You spoke a little bit about some of the recent productions. What can we look forward to moving forward? Well, of course, one thing is, is, the, is the fourth time we've done Our Ring next summer, which is, the, which is so important for us, and, and it is very well supported. It's been we, we, we collect money beforehand so, so in order to support the ring and we've done a great deal of that and we have people buying a lot of tickets now. It's a very exciting ring. That's one thing. Um, because of, you know, their economic problems today, we, we can't do quite the new productions we used to do, uh, as much of it, but we have a lot of operas this year which will be exciting. We have a Fidelio coming up, Beethoven's only opera, and then one of the operas, then we have a, 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 the Italian version of, of Cinderella, which is quite an interesting one. Not what Americans know so much. It's a, it's a, it, it, there's no fairy godmother and mm -hmm. there's no coach. It's not magic. It's actually very, but it is still a, a young girl who is in trouble and have mean sisters and, but not a, not a stepmother, not a bad stepmother, a stepfather that's bad. Ah, it's a little bit and of a it's twist. It's a little bit of a <laughs> twist. And she all comes out with the prince, just like in any Cinderella, but she does that. And then we're doing one of the most, you know, one of the most popular operas in the world is Bohem. Hmm. You know, and uh, so La Boheme. And so there are a lot of things. And we have an, we have an interesting ending to the season, which is, a, you know, a, uh, we're doing a, a double bill of, of an opera by Puccini, Sister Angelica. And I'm going to have to stop you, you there. Unfortunately, right. we're out of time. Okay. Spade Jenkins, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top and bottom of the hour.